So on this channel, we look at a lot of mics and we look at a lot of Rode mics. But something we usually skip is their range of video mics. So today we're gonna to be checking out Rode's video mic offerings in the form of the Rode Wireless Go 2 and the brand new Rode Wireless Mies. In today's video, we're gonna be comparing the two and finding out which is the best for you. Did that rhyme? Good stuff. Thanks for checking out Radio.co on YouTube. If you wanna see more kit reviews, live webinars, and handy broadcasting tips, then give us a thumbs up hit subscribe and click the bell icon. So first and foremost, what actually are wireless mics? The Rode wireless video range is kind of exactly what it says on the tin. They're wireless mics that work great with cameras and perfect for filmmaking. They consist of a receiver and a transmitter or two transmitters if you're feeling spenny. The transmitters have microphones built in and essentially record the sound and then transmit it over to the receiver. And the receiver then is inserted into either your camera or your phone and voila, you have a beautiful sound with all your footage. They're fantastic for on the fly recording, or maybe if you're in a studio and doing a lot of movement. They can also be brilliant backup mics just in case your main source of audio fails on you. We use them a lot for interviews and they work brilliant in that environment, uh, but we also just use them day to day in our normal video. The Wireless Go 2 ships with either one mic for $199 or two for $299. While the Wireless Me comes in at $149 with just the one mic, but there's actually a microphone included in the receiver as well. We're huge fans of the Wireless Go 2, and if you're a subscriber, you probably notice it's used in a lot of our videos. And if you're not, get out. Only joking, you've still got time to subscribe down below. But if you don't, seriously, get out. So you're probably here to find out the differences between these two. And don't get me wrong, there are some, but there's actually quite a lot of similarities as well. They both have Series 4 2.4 GHz digital transmission, which should allow for crystal clear audio quality to be transferred between the two at any given circumstance. They both have seven hours of battery life, which might not sound like a lot, but I've always found that it isn't too restrictive. And realistically, you're never gonna be shooting for that long anyway in between battery charges, so it should be fine. Unless you're filming like the latest Marvel film or something, in which case you can probably afford a better lab. Uh, also something to know on charging and battery, uh, the Wireless Go 2 is actually receiving a wireless charging case in the very near future. Uh, it's up for pre-order now unsure right now if the wireless Mies can be charged using that as well uh, but we'll keep you updated and maybe pop something in the comments a bit later on uh, they both have the option to have two transmitters to a receiver like i say uh, but the me currently doesn't have a two set option available probably because you already get two microphones uh, in the transmitter and the receiver one cool thing is you can actually mix and match like you can use our wireless me transmitter with the wireless go to receiver if you'd like and vice versa which is quite a cool little trick um, they're both exactly the same size. Whoops. They're both exactly the same size uh, and look pretty similar from a distance. On the transmitters themselves, there's a 3.5 TRS mic output for external lav mics and a USB connection for charging and computer connection. The mics themselves are both omnidirectional, but they vary slightly, so we'll look into that later. Both devices can also be paired to a Rodecaster Pro 2, which we're currently using to record this sound on, uh, basically meaning you don't even need a camera to use these. I don't think you should do that. Uh, an XLR or USB mic is probably gonna sound better for a podcast, but nice option to have. They both use the app called Rode Central to install updates and change settings. Uh, and Rode do ship out updates fairly regularly. Um, the option to use the Rodecaster Pro 2 with the wireless Go 2 uh, is actually a recent update. Um, they also included the likes of having camera presets built in as well, which is really, really cool. And it's really nice to hear a company actually still supporting some tech about two years after it's been released. Well, so they're basically the same thing then and the Mii's cheaper, so I'll just get that done. Maybe listen to a few of the differences first. I think the Mii is mainly based for social content creators who might rely on their phone to create video content, while the wireless go-to are definitely for the more professional film. One of the key differences between the two is the GoTo actually has an internal memory of about 40 hours built in, while the wireless Mi does not. This feature can either be switched off, used from the moment the mic is switched on, or just whenever you start recording. It's extremely handy for audio backups in case something goes wrong with your camera. The Mi does work with Rode's new Capture app, however, which is great for creating video and audio content all in one place. But if that sort of thing's important to you, then like I say, the Rode Wireless Go 2 is still compatible with Rode Connect, which does a lot of stuff 
uh, Rode Capture does because it's basically a Rodecaster Pro on your phone or on your laptop. Hey you, yes you, did you know you can start your very own radio station right now for free? Yes, for free. Simply click the link in the corner to start your seven day free trial today. However, the wireless me has gain assist, which should stop any nasty plosives or peaking during your recording. Something the wireless go to doesn't have. We'll obviously test this a bit later on and compare the two. Something else we'll test a bit later on is their transmission range as the wireless go to claims to have 200 meters of range while the wireless me only has about 100. The go to also has a better frequency range with 50 Hertz to 20 kilohertz over the me's 20 Hertz to 20 kilohertz. However, the go to has a slightly worse maximum SP with 100 decibels to the Mi's 122 decibels. Physically, the GoTo has a few more bits and pieces going on as well. The most obvious difference is the LCD screen on the receiver, which shows battery life and peak display for each mic. There's also a button which can be used to mute or control gain, and then also a pair button, which also works as a channel selection. Like I said before, the trade-off for this is that you get another mic in the Mi's receiver, allowing for audio behind the camera as well as in front. I could see this being great for like on the fly recording, maybe like interviews and such uh, where you're using your phone. Yeah, pretty, pretty nifty little feature. They both have the same power buttons on the top, but the wireless go to's button can be also used for the uh, inbuilt recording like, like we mentioned earlier. The microphones themselves are near identical uh, with light indicators at the top and a port for external lab mics. So you do lose out on a couple of features with the Mies, um, but, but maybe those features aren't that important to you. Maybe you just care about sound quality and you quite like the idea of having a microphone in the receiver. Or maybe you think gain assist makes up for the lack of inbuilt storage. Well, let's go test them out. Let's do a quick sound test, both inside and outside of the office. And uh, let's go grab some people around the office to help us out. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Dark Plagueis the Wise? I thought not. It's not a story the Jedi will tell you. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Dark Plagueis the Wise? I thought not. It's not a story the Jedi will tell you. So this is, I'm using the, uh, the Rode Wireless Go 2 and I'm just going to walk in this direction to see how well the connectivity is. So stay with me. I'm just going to walk down this direction. It might cut out at any point. Is it going to cut out now? No, not yet. So, yeah, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna, I'm gonna just boop, ping my head around the corner. So, I'm gonna walk in this direction. <laughs> Rowan's, Rowan's laughing. Um, I don't know if you can use this footage or not. Can you use the footage? Maybe. It's kind of a nice alley down the back of here. Um, you know, there's a car here as well, actually. This and that, um, quite good. Um, I do like it around here. It smells a little bit though. Um, yeah. So after all that testing, which do I think you should buy? Well, like always with these sort of comparisons, it really does depend. The Mi is a great little addition to the wireless family. And if you don't have a camera like a DSLR or something and just use your phone, this will be perfect for you. Road Capture isn't for everyone, but it's there. It's easily downloadable. It works great with the wireless Mi. Um, and if that's all you need, definitely go for the wireless Mi. But it's no replacement for the DSLR and a lot of you will be wanting that inbuilt storage just in case anything goes wrong on the day. So in simple terms, if you want more features like better range, internal storage backup, the LCD screen and just overall slightly better specs, go for the wireless go too. But if you use your phone primarily, then you can't go wrong with me. Not, not me. The the road. But that's just what I think, of course. I'd love to know what you thought about the sound test down in the comments below. Uh, and while you're there, you may as well click like, hit subscribe, ring that bell, and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching and happy broadcasting. And just before you go, have you ever thought about launching your very own internet radio station? Surprisingly, it's a lot easier than you may think, especially when you make the time to chat to myself or a member of the radio.co team. To do just that, head to our website, radio.co forward slash demo, where I can talk about your plans, any questions you may have, and you know, me and the team can really get you up to speed in launching your own internet radio station in literally minutes. It couldn't be easier. Why not check out some of our webinars, tutorials, help guides situated uh, around me? Or why not visit our website, radio.co, or even drop me an email, studio at radio.co. Until next time, take care and happy broadcasting.